Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how we, how we can make uh, mineralogical model or crystallographic crystals using cardboard. This lecture is important when we do not have the wooden model of the crystals. So we can make the crystal using cardboards only. For that I am going first to take the crystal that is cube. It belongs to the isometric system. Have a look. For the cubic system, we need a square shape. This is the square shape. Six piece of the cardboard. Okay all sides should be equal just join them using cello tape like this add four in a series you can add it whole squares now hold it in and put from two from top and two from bottom so you will get a cube you can see it it is a cube made up of only cardboard and cello tape now we can determine the all symmetry element using this cardboard cube in class we are using the wooden models so now if you hold like this suppose this is A3 then this will be front to back front to back this will be A1 and this left to right this will be next one is octahedron so octahedron is made up of eight equilateral triangles triangular faces so cut cardboard in equi equilateral triangular triangles so equilateral triangles are each side are of equal length okay so you need eight equilateral triangles now put put together so you will get four face like this one two three and four so now make another one similarly and join there so you will get octahedron next one is zircon zircon is belongs to the tetragonal system and it consists of four prism and two pyramids yeah you can say by pyramids but it is not by pyramids it is actually two pyramids so now take this like this square this is a square all side are of equal length and same length you need two triangular faces okay so equilateral triangular faces of the same width put them together and join okay so 
After joining, you will get like this. Put them together and join like this. Okay, then join them to make the pyramid. So this is Jirkan. Jirkan is belong to the tetragonal system. That means two axes of same length and one axis is longer or shorter. Third condition is all axis at 90 degree. So these two axes are of equal length. This is A1, A2 and this is called as C which may be shorter or longer. So here it is longer. So this axis is fourfold. Okay. Other axis are twofold. Other axis are twofold. Now next one is tetrahexahedral. For tetrahexahedral, you know how we can make the this four faces triangle means tetra hexahedral. So each face of this cube divided into four by this kind of face means half octahedron. So first make half octahedron this by equilateral triangular triangles. These are equi four equilateral triangles. Join them. This is little bit imperfect, but this one is tetrahexahedral. Four faces on each six side. One, two, three, four. Now count one, two, three, four, five, and this one is six. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is tetrahexahedron. You can get the symmetry element also by putting these are three x crystallographic axes. Okay, and these are the diagonal on planes. So you will get the similar you will get the similar symmetry what we are getting in cube. Very easy. It consists of only four faces and belongs to the cubic system known as the tetrahedra. So for that also you need four equilateral faces. Now write four equilateral triangles. So let us start. It is also like the octahedra. The difference is in octahedra we join we join four faces here we will join only first three faces tetrahedra it consists of four triangle equilateral tri triangular faces okay rhombohedra 
for rhombo dodecohedron you need 12 rhombic shape shape faces to first make the rhombic shape next one is rhombo dodecohedron for rhombo dodecohedron you need 12 rhombic shape card balls cut what is the room room all all sides are of equal length but angle opposite angle are the same not all angle in square you have uh, the angles and sides are all of equal okay but in rooms you have all sides are of equal length but the opposite angles are only the have equal amount the equal limit next so again put four together and join This is our rhombo dodecohedra. It consists of twelve faces. These are the axes one, two, and three. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, cube, tetrahedron, octahedron, tetrahexahedron, tetrahedron. and rhombo dodecohedron next crystal model is also belonging belongs to the isometric system that is this trice octahedron so trice octahedron is made up of 3 multiplied by eight, any it means 28 face four faces so and for that you need 24 isosceles triangles isosceles triangles means two sides of equal length and one each and equal two sides of equal length and one each and equal and join them three three isosceles together okay first join it three isosceles together like this we need eight faces like this again so first make eight pieces of the
you need it such kind of structure by you can make it using three isosceles triangles okay now join them like this This is our tris tris octahedra. The peaks are high, comparative very high. In comparison, you have seen uh, next one is hexagonal. For hexagonal, you need first. Uh, So this is hexagonal cube having six sides, then tetrahedron of four sided tetrahedron, then octahedron, eight sided, then this is the tetrahexahedron, this one is this octahedron and this one is Rhomboidal cohedron. This is the zircon of tetragonal system, and this one is the beryl of hexagonal. System.